from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Bronte Coy. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 16th of November. A rescue mission is underway to collect a family who have been stranded in the remote Simpson Desert since late last week. The family of four got stuck in the South Australian outback when their camper van became bogged following torrential rain. A police helicopter has now been sent to retrieve them. There were concerns about the family's well-being, with temperatures expected to rise above 40 degrees in the coming days. Authorities are investigating a new theory as the search for missing three-year-old William Tyrrell ramps up. Multiple reports suggest police are now looking into whether the little boy, who was last seen in 2014, fatally fell from the balcony of his foster grandmother's home in Kendall in New South Wales. They've today been focusing their search on the area directly below the balcony and also scanning sections of bushland about one kilometre from the house. In other news, boxer Danny Green has said that Australia should bring back the death penalty. Green made the comments on Nova's Nathan, Nat and Sean show as he spoke about his Stop the Coward Punch campaign. We all wish that they'd throw away the key or, or you know, bring back the um, bring back the noose because I'm all for an eye for an eye. I think our society's lost its way. We're too soft. We're too accommodating to the perpetrators. It should be an eye for an eye. That's what That's what I'd like to see happen, but I know it's never going to happen. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying it, but I don't care. In 2010, the federal government passed legislation that prohibited the reintroduction of capital punishment in Australia. To the US, a judge has ruled in favour of parents who sued conspiracy theorist Alex Jones for saying that the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School was a hoax. 26 children and teachers were shot dead at the school in 2012. Jones, a far-right broadcaster, claimed the mass shooting was staged as part of a government plot to take away Americans' guns. Families of victims filed a lawsuit against him, claiming that he made millions of dollars from peddling a narrative he knew to be false. A judge agreed, and now a jury will decide how much he'll have to pay the families. To sport, Michael Clark has said that he thinks Justin Langer will resign as coach of the Australian cricket team after the Ashes. Langer's coaching future has been up in the air for months amid reports some of the players were unhappy with his coaching style. Langer is contracted until the end of Australia's tour of Pakistan in March, but Michael Clark doesn't think he's going to last that long. I reckon Australia is going to win the Ashes, so the Aussies win the 2020 World Cup, win the Ashes, and JL is going to resign. JL is going to say, you know what? I've achieved what I come here to achieve. I've copped so much criticism. I've had so much stick put on me. I'm just going to – I've done my time. In showbiz, the dialogue coach on the upcoming House of Gucci movie has come out and said Lady Gaga didn't quite nail her Italian accent. Gaga plays Patrizia Reggiani in the movie with the accent coach saying she sounds more Russian than Italian. It's never a great sign when your own dialogue coach says that about you. Anyway, (laughs) let's have a listen. They had it all. Wealth, style, power. Who wouldn't care for that? See, I didn't think it was that bad. I, I definitely thought it was better than your pronunciation of Patricia Reggiani. I, I was going to argue with you, but I mean, you're absolutely right. So <laughs> I'll let it uh, slide. We'll move on now. Kirsten Dunst has spoken out about the extreme pay gap between her and Tobey Maguire on Spider-Man. The actress, who played Mary Jane, claimed that she made significantly less money than Maguire, but didn't give exact figures. It's been reported that Maguire was paid almost $24 million for the 2004 sequel, Spider-Man 2, which with Dunst's salary rumoured to be around $9.5 million for that one. Goodness, that's a lot of money for Toby Maguire. Anyway, that's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Get the latest from news.com.au.